like that. Whoa. So Tillman's showing you that he can make a competitive bout here. Uh-oh. Wow. Just like that. Whoa. He's up, but he's not in good shape. Only 30 seconds left if he can hang on. I don't know. Doesn't look likely, does it? That's all. They stop it. And in a thing. Champion of the world. Just go get it. No, Mike White can't be champion of the world, George. No way, okay? Oh, okay. It's beautiful for you to say it, okay? We love your heart, but it's just not true. Give him, give him high marks as for Levi Billups for staying in there against their superior, younger, quicker fighter. Oh, <laughs> Saved by the bell. Now, wait Go a ahead. minute. Harold. That's, a, that's over. You can be saved by the bell in the last round. The fight is over. Absolutely right. Saved. He should, but he's got too much heart and soul. He's Philadelphia bred and trained doesn't know how to clinch. He thinks that as Norris throws, he's going to get a chance to land one in return. Norris with another solid right. Meldrick is woozy on the ropes. Second knockdown. Four, four, five. There'll be about 20 seconds left when the count is complete. Here comes Terry Norris to try to... Him off. There's no, there's no free knockdown rule. Keep that in mind. And there's no quit in Meldrick Taylor. A decision for Lane to make. He's very close to stopping it, and there it is. Rightful decision. Trunks with gold trim, weighing in and even 212 pounds. Originally from Jacksonville, Florida, now living and fighting out of Ex Essex County, New Jersey, making his professional debut. Ladies and gentlemen, the heavyweight gold medal champion of the 1988 Olympics, Merciless Ray Mercer. Comes in here six and two. That went McGee's mouthpiece, and he's taking a walloping in this round from Mercer. Big oh, right. Did he get nailed? Did he get nailed? It could end in this round. It's over now. Well. It's over, Al. It's over. The power of Ray Mercer has surfaced. There will be no count. Jesse McGee was pulverized. Just a nine. And down goes Sumbu Kalambe after a major league left inside by nine. It looks as though Kalambe isn't going to be isn't going to make it. And Michael Nunn answers a lot of doubters about his punching power. One solid left hand put Callum Bay to sleep. That was unbelievable. I didn't expect that. I, I if didn't you didn't expect it. it, what do you think Callum Bay expected? He was caught cold in the first round. Obviously shocked. Display Here's another look. Of power. Here is when Michael Nunn's taking his time, throwing his chair about, and what's the kind of left hand of Michael Nunn? It caught Callum Bay flush on the chin. He and had been a, very relaxed throughout the first round, not looking as though he was pressing the action or looking to do any serious damage. And then this. And you know what people are going to talk about because it was a one-punch knockout. Just the power of his left hand. Something that he wasn't supposed to be able to do. Well, they always say this is a stiff test. This is the toughest test thus far. But here, Michael Nunn shows he can deal with anybody. Well, you can see the punching power of spin. Everything he throws hurts him. Oh, tremendous right hook. Huge right hook. 
Well, you can understand now why it's tough for Tracy Spann to get fights. You might be able to hit him, but boy, discouraging him is tough, and he hits like a mule. Boy, he does. Santana taking an awful punishment goes down again. And it's over. Tony Battle has stopped the fight. What an impressive effort by Tracy Spann. The moment he knew he was cut. It's a huge win. We said at the top of the show that Louis Lamelli can't win a decision. It's kind of inconceivable to think of that. He just has to go out for a knockout. It's obvious from the from the rounds we've seen so far, Dan, that that's accurate. to successfully defend. What we're seeing now are both eyes right swelling up just left one the left. Uh, yeah, right one definitely, and now left one's getting a little mouse under. Some new damage on that left eye now. <laughs> now left one's getting a little mouse under. Some new damage on that left eye now. But a spare goes to Pepper and Cruz now. Cruz having problems. And there he goes down for the first time in a fight. That was a left. Excellent left. But onto the, onto the buckle goes Espera. Goes up. He will try to finish Cruz now. It was a beauty of a left hook which sent him down. And here comes Esparagosa. Late in the 12th round, the first knockdown of the fight. Cruz went down on his behind, got up. That's it. And that will be stopped. That'll be it. And, and that'll Sparagosa. be up. We have a new champion in the WBA featherweight category. It's all over for Stevie Cruz. And congratulations to Antonio Esparagosa, the new champion. Yeah, I really think that he's a legitimate challenger for uh, heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Speaking of Damiani and Deploy, they'll be fighting on score next Saturday afternoon. Johnny Deploy and Francesco Damiani for Pacero Italy for the World Boxing Organization Heavyweight Championship. Next Saturday, May 6th on the score. Deploy Damiani. The WBO title. Yes, sir. Oh, big, big left, left hook. hook. JB's in JB trouble. JB is hurting. Uh -uh. Maybe he's posturing here. He <laughs> looked real. That's, really a, that's a weird posture if he's posturing. Oh, maybe you're right, Pedro. I uh, know. That's not. Big he's hurt. Shots. He's ready. That George referee stopped the fight. Away. Yeah. George Foreman gets at 
40 of round number five. Get in with a pink Gonzalez and Carl Williams and Orland Norris, and there's some question as to whether that hits his head back. As to whether that fight was actually going to come off. Norris wanted to fight Foreman. Foreman never went to the ring against Orland Norris. Oh, the right hand trumpet hits. What a shot. What a right hand. And absolutely oh, crumpled. Bobby hits his outs, and he is in some other place as he gets counted out now by referee Bob Watson. And that is it at the end of the first round. It's all over. Short work of Bob Hits. And he's upset about it, but how can you longer against a guy like George Foreman? Is puffed. Does it? Oh, and a good right. 